Um, hi, everybody, and, and, and thanks for bearing with me. Um, so Chemagra is my name. I'm the Managing Director of Ashley Environmental. So we are an innovation-led technology company operating in the bioeconomy. And of course, agriculture is a significant part of that, and it's at the heart of it. So today, I'll, I'll briefly get through some background on ourselves, our own journey through um, a number of the funding structures that you've outlined. And obviously, we will focus a little on Diva and how Liz and Co have, have been of great assistance to us. Um, so just about us, so we were established in 2015 uh, as a spin-out, in fact, of Ashley Farms, uh, which is based in Waterford. Um, we uh, developed a, a world-first microwave pretreatment solution for agri and, and non-agri side stream valorizations, uh, and we call this BioWave. Uh, there's been over eight years of R&D, both internationally and in Ireland, on the interactions of microwaves on agri-organic waste streams and others, and also the scale-up and design. Um, our first um, full-scale pilot plant uh, has been in operation since 2018 in Waterford at Ashley Farms, um, and we've been able to demonstrate on the biogas side an improvement in yield of over 30%. Um, the treatment technology itself has a wide applicability uh, uh, across a range of biorefinery solutions also, and these would include uh, elements like biomass pretreatment and biobased side streams, um, uh, valorizations for higher value applications. Um, next slide, please. And if you just, Ashley, just want to press it like about five times just to go through these. That's perfect. So I'll just I'll rattle through here. There's one more as well. Thanks. So just just briefly on the technology to give um, to give people an overview. So we use uh, microwaves, which are is electromagnetic energy in its principle as a feedstock pretreatment, as I mentioned, for uh, anaerobic digestion and for biorefinery applications. So uh, the biogas yield increases that we've seen um, to date, as I've, I've mentioned, over 30 percent. We've had enhanced CH4 or our biomethane production as well, uh, and also sterilization uh, benefits. And this technology, um, what microwaves do is they're very unique in terms of the way that they interact with materials, and they provide a very um, a feature which is called volumetric heating, which actually heats from the inside out. We don't transfer energy uh, heat necessarily into products, but the microwave itself generates heat at a molecular level, causing a superior cell wall disruption, which is which is critical for um, wanting to upgrade products and, and agri uh, side streams and others. Um, so our system is a modular design for offsite construction. Um, we have a bespoke remote control and monitoring uh, system as part of this, and this is obviously very important for us when we talk more about Diva and how it has aligned with the, the themes in Diva. Um, and it's for integration on new and existing plants. So next slide, please. So our targets are sectors, just briefly here. Um, in the dairy side, we have recently been very fortunate to be granted funding through Enterprise Ireland and the government's Disruptive Technology Innovation Funding. And I'll talk a little bit further about that in a further slide. Uh, we're also trialing on the municipal side with uh, in the area of biosolids. We're working with a major UK water utility at the moment on that. We're also developing projects in the brewing, distilling, and the meat processing sectors. Next slide, please. So just a little bit um, about our background, and I'm sorry that the formatting has um, gone a little bit um, sideways on this, but to give you a sense of, I suppose, our journey, we would have started over 10 years ago uh, looking at it primarily actually from a farmer's point of view in terms of taking uh, agricultural waste in the form of manures uh, and looking at various ideas that we could do to transform it into higher value products. And in this case, we were looking at biogas. Um, so we just got out there and started to interact uh, effectively with the science community. So this is our experimental research phase. Um, what we found through that was obviously the EU is a, is a, is a really great, um, uh, it's a great sandpit for being able to raise funds, uh, innovation led funds, um, where you can uh, test uh, ideas and work with high class uh, research organizations and other SMEs to develop um, technologies and, and, uh, and principles around how, how you may uh, use this technologies. So we were successful through the FP7 project that ran from 2012 to 2014, where we were a project partner on it. Um, and that was for research to the benefit of SMEs. We also then um, 
because of the results were so good from that, we actually created our own company, and that's where Ashley Environmental was set up. Uh, and we were the coordinator on Horizon 2020 Fast Track to Innovation project, where we brought in other uh, SMEs into our projects um, and also continue to work with those that we'd worked with in the past to build our industrial prototype. As part of this as well, we were able to utilize the DIVA fund through the great work and assistance that we had from Liz Gavin and her team in your digital village. Um, and that actually provided a great stepping stone for us into our next phase, which is our industrial scale. And I'll talk a little bit more about the disruptive technologies innovation fund in the next slide. So overall the, it's, it's a long road. There's a lot, there is obviously quite a lot of risk involved. Um, but there's fantastic uh, support and obviously fantastic avenues where uh, innovation funding can be raised uh, throughout Europe and, and in Ireland as well. We have great support in Ireland for this. Um, so next slide, please. So the DIVA objectives, obviously cascade funding and brought to our attention by uh, Liz and Co. Um, we made an application early, I would say probably around February time last year, uh, and we started our project in June, so a very short uh, application period and, and grant uh, approval period. Uh, we worked closely with Chagas, who are obviously the partner based in Ireland uh, for the DIVA Fund and fantastic to work with, really bought into what we were doing from, from day one. Uh, clearly, we uh, because it's a digital innovation fund, we had to demonstrate uh, how it's applicability to ourselves. And as I mentioned, as part of our system, we have a significant software element, which we've done uh, some really nice and neat um, upgrades to as part of the project. And also we've changed the mechanical aspects and to improve the process itself. Um, so working with Liz and Chagas, being able to work through the call uh, criteria, the costs, obviously the eligibility form, we would have naturally we would have had experience in the past through Horizon 2020, but everyone is, is every uh, call is different and you really have to be, uh, you really need to study the criteria to see what's eligible and what's eligible. Um, but this was a great fit for us. And, uh, and again, it was a great stepping stone for us uh, in the middle of last year. Uh, onto our, our, our next funding round, which I'll talk about later. So we've worked with Your Digital Village since, um, I guess, the uh, middle of 2018 um, and continue to do and, and have found that the link that Liz and Co and, and her team have uh, across the various networks has been invaluable. Uh, next slide, please. And so just to give you a demonstration of how Diva was great for us in terms of a stepping stone. So we are uh, part of a consortium that's one of 16 projects which was uh, granted uh, Disruptive Technologies Innovation Fund by the government last December. So we are one of, I think, only two um, projects that are in the uh, renewable energy space. We're teaming up with NVP Energy, who have a, a unique and highly disruptive wastewater treatment solution, and NUIG, where much of the technology was developed. Uh, so this is a really symbiotic partnership between uh, both the SMEs uh, and the university. The problem here that we're going to address is in, in, in the dairy sector, so in, in the milk production sector where a litre of milk um, needs uh, at least, if not more than three litres of wastewater, or it produces uh, rather. Uh, there's elements of that in terms of dairy fats that are uh, high energy carriers, but very difficult to break down uh, within uh, normal anaerobic digestion and biogas um, processes. So we're uh, working together to, to use our expertise in our microwave system to be able to break down these long chain fatty acids into short chain fatty acids for their um, conversion into renewable energy and also uh, further nutrients for uh, higher value products. So this has been fantastic for us, for our company. Um, it's allowed us to bring new staff on board and um, you know, it wouldn't have been possible without uh, the support network that we've had and, uh, and being able to work through DIVA as well has been a great, great addition to us. Thank you.